So now we talked about the different microphones. So what are the differences between the different microphones? Let's start out with the dynamic, which is like one of the most common ones uh, because you use them pretty much all the time in live. Uh, we use them a lot here in the studio. But the one thing that uh, these dynamics uh, do, they are able to handle loud sound sources very well, like drums, um, guitar cabinets. Uh, in a live venue, they're very good because you have to really get up close to those microphones. Uh, they're not terribly sensitive. Uh, so uh, we always say, like a Shure SM58, those singers, they have to eat the microphone. They have to keep it up very close because every time I move away from that, every inch I move away from that capsule, I'll drop about six decibels in volume. So think about it. Three inches, it's a negative 24 dB difference. That's pretty, pretty uh, substantial. Now, the second one that we use, and this is my pretty much my go-to in the studio. Obviously, everything will change depending on genre and everything that we're doing there. But are the condenser microphones. Uh, the condenser microphones are very, very accurate microphones. They're, the element that they use is just, it's very lightweight, so it tends to be lightning fast. Um, and in order to use them, you need what we call phantom power, which is basically a 48-volt power source to actually power the microphone so you could actually use them. Uh, now... I use them on just about everything, drum overheads, vocals, uh, you could use them on guitars, acoustic guitars especially, um, you could just pretty much use them on anything. You know, if we're doing voiceovers, always grabbing, you know, for the most part, a, a condenser microphone. And the third type of microphones uh, are ribbon microphones. Now, why are they called ribbon? Because the element that's actually in there is a, basically, it's like a ribbon. They usually corrugate it and suspend it between two posts. Uh, and those are, they could either be what we call active or passive, meaning that uh, depending on the microphone, you could actually uh, use the 48 volt power supply on there to phantom power or you don't use 